Hey there, Arlisha here. Welcome to another video. This is part two of our first tail feathers painting tutorial. Today we are painting the writer whose name is Zur. Last week we painted Erigen. So if you haven't seen that video, I would recommend checking it out. Um, but this is part two. We're painting his writer. Um, he's a white mouse. So I started by painting his ears. First of all, can I just say how awesome it is that I'm painting a mouse right now? I'm so excited. Anyway, started by painting his tail, his feet, his hands, and his ears kind of like the flesh colors so I started with the base color um, and now I'm already moving on to some highlighting and I what I really wanted to do was to have the bottom of the ears be darker which is which you can see there and then from that dark kind of brownish flesh tone I moved up to pink ear colors up ultimately the highlight color that I got to at the end was a light pink at the tops of the ears and the tip of the tail and the feet um, he has a combination of armors. He's got a little bit of leather, which is what I'm painting now, and also some steel, which was the crazy chaotic mess. We'll get to that in a little bit. Anyway, this is the leather. So the leather was on his face and any straps that were around, also the saddle that he's sitting on. Um, so all of that got painted with Army Painters Leather Brown. Um, if I can remember the colors that I used for the skin, to be honest, it was like three or four different colors that I mixed to get what I wanted. Um, I'll put a link, or I'll put the all the colors I used down in the description so you can see those. Let me know if you like that, if you like seeing the colors I used, and I'll continue to do that. Here I used like either white or off-white, a very light color, to paint that scroll around the bottom. And then his bow, again, just like all the other browns, I just used leather browns. In most of the instances, I tried to keep it simple. This, I just did some very minimal highlighting on those browns. This, the rider's way simpler than the bird was. Um, I just did one layer of highlighting, mixing the leather brown with some of the model color beige, just to get a lighter brown and keep the same highlighting that I used for the bird in his leather so that they would all kind of blend together. Um, this is where the mess begins. His armor is kind of like a bluish um, silver, so I got this genius idea to paint his armor base coated this, um, this sky blue. And then, oh, I know, I'll do that, and then I'll paint silver over top, and I'll be so cool because I'll have the blue undertones in the armor. And I really should have just used pale blue instead of sky blue because pale blue is a very nice, subtle blue, and I even thought of it, and then I didn't do it, and I should have. And instead I used this really, really bright sky blue. It's almost the color of, like, the putty I'm using. By the way, that's just putty underneath him mounted onto a colored pencil so that he would still be mounted so I can paint him. And as you can see, when I paint the silver, Look at that! It's just a really shiny blue color. And I ended up having to do a lot of coats here. And ultimately, I didn't want to lose detail, so instead of just continuing to put color after color after color shades of silver, right here you can see I just skipped right to like that natural steel and was like, forget it, I'm just gonna do a darker gray. And, um, and that covered the blue a lot better, but it was kind of chaos because I was trying to color all of this weird blue color and it was chaotic. You're seeing the easy bits. That little tiny bit that I just sped through in there, I painted a little bit of pink, kind of like a rosy pink, like the color of the pencil, onto his nose, and then used gunmetal gray on his long spear here, and then I highlighted that with a little bit of um, silver. So instead of going for the natural steel, I went straight to the lighter color, silver, to highlight, to keep it simple, and so that, that would stand out a little bit more. This is the magic blue for that ribbon banner type thing on his spear, and then I highlighted that. I think I highlighted that with a bit of the sky blue, which you're going to see very briefly right here. Just a little bit of sky blue to highlight that, and I kept it really, really simple. This, I'm doing a little bit of shading. I'm using the soft tone because I didn't want his fur to look brown. I wanted to keep it white, but I wanted to kind of get some of the details too, like the fur lines and all that stuff. Um, just a little bit of that soft tone in the scroll on his back under his tail and I used the dark tone on his armor and this guy's pretty much done. I hope you guys don't mind that this video was really s short and sweet. The painting was really quick and ultimately a little bit frustrating because of that silly blue color. Um, in a second here you're gonna see pictures of him all done. I'm just touching up the last little bits of shading it, getting that in the cracks I wanted it to be in. Let me know what, how you think he looks. Um, I really think that the rider and the bird look good together, you know, both of them finished. The bird is the one that really shines here, and I think the Plaid Hat Games knew that when they made this game, because if you look at the miniatures, the bird is a lot better quality miniature than its rider. The rider, there's like just some blurriness and some 
Um, not, not very sharp lines or angles or anything like that in the miniature. Anyway, they look really good together, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're new, we hope that you will continue to check out some of the other stuff we've done. Subscribe if you like it. Leave a like if you enjoyed this crazy messing two blue painting tutorial, um, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.